trouble? Trouble is no name for it. My brother-in-law is John Burt. John Burt? What's wrong with him? What's the matter with him? What's the matter with him? This is the kind of a guy John Burt is. He gives you a cigar and you light it and it blows up. He dies laughing. He thinks it's funny. Oh, it's amusing. Yeah, and you go to sit down, he pulls a chair out from under you. Oh, Comedy. What's the matter with Well, that calls for action. Well, I want it to do, Sam. Well, he wants to be a river. He should be ribbed. A uh, non-membership river, eh? Yes. But can he take it? Yeah, but I would. He drive a car? Yes. Does he belong to our Moore Joy Auto Club? Yes, I heard him. They just joined. Well, then we're all set. Tomorrow is Sunday. Our club is closed. I can get some boys. And, uh, and Kitty. I can get some boys and Kitty to help me out. They're all set. They're big laugh. Okay, by me. <laughs> My name is John Burton. I'd like to report a stolen car. Well, what's your membership number? That's your uh, membership. Here we are. 6924. Is that Series A or B? Hey. Sorry. Series A expired yesterday. Well, I didn't expire yesterday. I joined this club and somebody has stolen my car. When did you say you joined? Yesterday. Would you mind looking at your card again and seeing if that's a capital A or a small A? Oh, that's the new service. That becomes effective tomorrow. Can you call in tomorrow and report your car? Well, why tomorrow? The guy that stole my car is liable to be in Chicago by tomorrow. Well, who stole your car? I don't know. See? Well, if you don't know the man, how do you know he's going to Chicago? Sounds very suspicious to me. Uh, listen, <clears throat> I'm a life member of this club. Somebody has stolen my car, and I'd like to have it reported. What kind of a car was it? Mark a coupe. And were you behind in your payment? No, I wasn't behind in my payment. Did you stay in the family? No. Oh, there's some other crooks, so. God, there's so many crooks around. Our house was robbed three times last week. Once by an outsider. You know, there's something very funny about that. I had my father's pearl handled black jack, and what you think... Listen to me, I'm, I'm sorry about your pearl handled father. I mean, it's your family. But I want to report my car. What happened to it? Oh, it was stolen. You know, we have a recovery service open to members. Oh. If you tell us where your car is, we locate it. Well, I don't know where the car is. It was stolen. What make of car was it? Parker Coupe. Parker Coupe. Is that an open car or a closed car? It's a coupe. There's only one kind of coupe. My brother has a chicken coupe. Listen, my car has been stolen and I want it reported. Maybe you'd like to talk to the claim department. I certainly would. Well, that's that man's way to Come in. I'd like to, uh, like to talk about a claim. Sorry, the claims are not very good. But there's no R in this one. That goes for oysters, too. But I'm not talking about oysters or clams or whatever it is. My name is John, and I'd like to speak about a stolen car. When did you steal the car? 
I, I, did, I, I, I didn't see the car. Somebody, somebody else stole the car. See the membership number, please? Yeah. My membership number is... Not your membership number. The membership number of the man that stole the car. I, I don't know who stole the car. I, I, I don't even know if he's a member of this club or not. Well, if your car was stolen by a non-member of this club, you'd have to take it up with the membership division. You'd have to take out a membership card for the man that stole the car. I darn it. Don't know the man's name. Oh, well, then we just make it out in the name of John Doe. Uh, listen, somebody has stolen my car, and I want it back. Oh, a stolen car. Yes. Yes, a stolen car. That's right. Yes. Well, where did you steal it from? I didn't steal the car. Somebody stole the car from me. Oh, well, if you can get him to sign a confession, I'll have our legal department write him a very insulting letter. In all probability, he's so far away now, he wouldn't bother to come back here merely to sign a confession. Well, then, why don't you just get a bar of attorney from him, and then you can sign his name to the confession. Or, uh, I've got it. Uh, why don't you sign the confession? Hmm? They'll probably send you to jail for six months, but you can't go anyplace anyhow if you have any car. And by that time, the new models will be out, and you will save yourself enough on gasoline to pay your fine. Is, is there anybody else around here who can think it differently than you? Well, yes, there's a man at the, uh, at the other desk. Yes. The next desk. Oh. If you wouldn't be interested in talking to him, he only handles stolen cars. Well, that's... That's what I'm here for. Well, I certainly wish you had said so. I thought you were selling bottled water. Hey, what do you think I'd do the other desk? That's for what next? Uh, me, I'd like to speak to somebody about a stolen car. What kind of a car would you like stolen? Now listen, I'm not going through all that again. See that? Oh yes, yeah, scrambled egg. Now Kathleen will take that off. Our members get a full I, I know all about that. I'm a member. I'm a member in good standing. Although I don't know how I stand it. I joined this club in all good faith. Although I've got very little faith left. Now my car has been stolen. And I want to tell somebody about it. Well, what kind of a car was it? A pocket coupe. And uh, what is your address, Mr. Coop? What? No, no. My, my name isn't Coop. Oh, pardon me, Mr. Parker. No. My name isn't Parker, and it isn't Coop. Well, if your name isn't Parker, and it isn't Coop, what kind of a car was it? Well, you've got me so mixed up, I don't know whether I had a car or not. Do I look like the type that would have a car? Well, I wouldn't know that. You'd have to take that up with a photographing device. Oh, maybe I can explain it this way. Now, I'm a man. To the back. And look here, wait a minute. It's this expense. Now, here's an automobile. Well, that's an inkwell. I know it's an inkwell, but I'm pretending. I'm pretending it's an automobile. Well, what kind of an automobile are you pretending it is? I'm pretending it's a cockapoo. I mean, the, 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 the pocket coop. You couldn't pretend it was a packard. Of course I can pretend it's a packer, but I want to pretend it's a pocket coop because I have a pocket coop. Oh, I'm so glad. When did you get it? I didn't get it back. It's been stolen. My pocket coop has been stolen. Well, it certainly is a small world. You're the third man that's been in here today to report a stolen pocket coop. Yeah, uh, that's me. I've been here for three days trying to report a stolen car. What was the make of the car? Uh, hey, wait a minute. Motor Joy Auto Club. That's right. I've heard of that place. I know it's someplace. Well, you work here. Oh, that's where I heard about it. Well, what is your number? I don't know. It's on the car. Well, if you don't know your license number, how do you expect us to find the car? As a matter of fact, how do you know your car was stolen? Because when I went back, the car wasn't there. And I don't have any other place the car is. Where's your driver's license? I don't know. That's in the car, too. Oh, hey. no driver's license. Well, I'll take care of that. Thanks. There's a picture. Hey, what's the big idea, you bully? Oh, salesman also. Well, here's another one. Hey, listen to me. What's the idea? What about my stolen? Was your car last seen? Well, uh, on the, the, the front of 499 back, the back, uh, the back 499 front seat. Are you sure of that? I certainly am. That's all I wanted to know. Well, 
Did you see the fire hydrant at 499 Front Street? No. That was a safety zone. Traffic right caught Friday at 2. Well, wait a minute. I didn't see any safety zone sign. Well, there was one there. I don't know why you didn't see it. How could I? It was dark. What, your parking lights on? No. You're sure a great driver, my friend. No parking lights. Here's another one. Hey, what's the idea? This is an outrage. Dog, dog. Like, what about my car? What kind of a car were you driving? Oh, but a poop car. I mean, uh, uh, a car to poop. Uh, the, the, There's no uh, such car. So you got me so doggone mixed up, I don't know what I'm talking about. Hey, listen to me, I'm tired. I'm a taxpayer. Where's the taxi seat? I, I don't know. I don't Shut care. up. I'll see if you're a taxpayer. What's your name and address? Um, John 49, uh, uh, John Burt, 846 Hill Street. Hello, is John Burt, 846 Hill Street, paid his taxes? Oh, he has. Huh? Failed to pay them. Thanks, Joe. Well, that'll just cost you a penalty of $35 delinquent tax. Oh, yes? Well, all right. Then what about my car? What kind of a car was it? A cracker port. A cracker port. Say, do you know what I think? I think you were drunk. and probably never even had a car. Let me tell you something. I never drink a drunk. I never drunk a drunk. I'm going to see the mayor about this. Oh, no, you don't. Just a minute, wise guy. I'm going to get you a sobriety test. Oh, Doc. 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 What is it? Come here. I got a drunk. I want you to give me a sobriety test. Oh, a drunk, eh? Well, I hate drunks. They're a menace to public safety. Are you the culprit? No, him. He thinks he stole a car. Uh huh. <laughs> I got to make a report. Uh, what kind of a car do you think you stole? Uh, a sack of uh, people Tom. Oh, a foreign car. Eh? I think I'll paint a line for you to walk on. Uh, hand me the floor. Huh? I say, hand me the floor. Floor? Oh, thanks very much. I'll put it down here. Now wait a minute. Don't stand on that floor. Well, I got to stand someplace. All right, stand up there. Now oh. let me see. Uh, oh, that's enough. Yes. How does that look to you? Where does it die? Come on, you. Walk that. I, I can't walk that. Oh, now I know you're <laughs> drunk. Yes. Let me see you walk. All right. Let me out of here. Uh -huh. Is an accessory. 
And your policy, uh, if you read it, yeah. specifically exempt successions, unless an endorsement is attached to it. Wait a minute. This is robbery. You uh, can't... Careful. Liable, you know. Well, well, I... Well, now, if you're not satisfied, you can sue it. I don't want to sue, but I... I... Well... All right. Uh, what else is there? Uh, I think that's... I think that's about all. I hope so. Just a few things. More? You see, uh, we figure in lost cars that uh, when they're returned, they're pretty badly damaged. And we figure it takes from fifty to three hundred and fifty dollars to recondition them again. That's so. Your car. Uh, being a brand new car. Oh yes, yes, it was a brand new car. Being brand new, when it's recovered, it will be in pretty bad condition. That is, if the car thing is drove at over twenty-five miles an hour, and it's our experience that we they always do. Oh, well, well, they so, uh, a lot of so let's say uh, only uh, about uh, three hundred dollars for repair. That's fine enough with me. That's okay with me. Which we will discuss. Which we Leaving a balance due you of eighty eight dollars. No, say no, you can't do that to me. This is good. Well, it's wrong. Wrong. No, here's something very interesting. Right. Uh, you're a member of our Motor Joy Order Club, aren't you? You bet your sweet life I am. Well, that'll make a difference. Well, yes, sir. Uh, you're fully paid up, aren't you? Oh, yes, sure, sure. I'm a, I'm Did a you, uh, life member. Yes? Yeah. Did you display our emblem? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, where? Right on the front of the car. Right on the radiator. Right there. Radiator mutilation, $15 a touch. Oh, no, you don't. No. No, I won't go for that. No, you can't give me that. Listen to me. I got a lawyer and I'll sue. Oh, I'll sue. You're, you're entirely within your license. I know I am. Good day, sir. Good day to you. You can't give me... Now, sir, all we're asking is a fair thing. Right lawyer knows when not to sue. But we must have a proper exception. My client is only asking for the fair thing. He's not asking for all the money he actually poured into the car, in specially. Now, uh, take the tires alone. No, no, they just start to you. Know. Oh, no. I mean, uh, the special white wall tires. What white wall? Oh, just the oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, which you put on at an extra cost of $120. Million times, no. I wouldn't dream of debating my client. Just a moment, just a moment. Uh, what did you say the car cost? Nine hundred dollars. Nine hundred dollars. Yeah. The uh, special equipment two fifty. So I should think about two fifty, huh? There you are. There's the absolute top. Is that the absolute top? Absolute. Very well then. We'll take. It. agree to uphold his bylaw. I certainly do. You are not. Huh? Welcome to the River Club. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Check you gave us or dues in this River Club is no good. There's no money in the bank. I know it. Listen, you River should learn to take it as well as dish it out. Good evening, brethren. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.